everybody, my goodness me, what a night it was last night. Uh, England beat Germany, the old foe, for the first time in a knockout competition since 1966 by two goals to nil. Uh, that's how they celebrated. He finally, finally broke his duck in this competition. Harry Kane, of course, Sterling's just walking the park for him, isn't it? Let's catch up with two fans who lived through the dramatic 90 minutes of last night's England Germany game. We chatted to them uh, yesterday. They very kindly agreed to come back today. Gertz Werner is there. He is, of course, uh, the German fan who uh, was monitoring events uh, for us from his side. And Billy is with us as well. He was uh, with us yesterday as well. I know how you feel, Billy, so I want to go with Gertz. First of all, tell us what it was like as a German fan. Uh, to be honest, I thought uh, the first 75 minutes of the match were probably one of the worst I've ever seen in my life. And uh, it was just awful football, really, wasn't it? It was boring. And, uh, as I said, I watched with some German and English mates, and uh, we were pretty shocked how poor both of them were. And then, at the end of the day, England scored the goals and fair play. They won. Congratulations to them. Uh, oh, we're looking at fans, actually, as we were, uh, German fans, as we're chatting to you, Gertz. They were absolutely devastated you must have gone into this game given that we haven't beaten you england i should say haven't beaten germany uh in a knockout competition since 1966 there must have been part of you yesterday morning when we were chatting thinking this is a cakewalk for us no as i said yesterday i always thought it's going to be quite close and um that's what it was for 75 minutes but then again yeah, England, you know did manage to score the goals and in all honesty i think personally it really sums up the last few years of Jürgen Löw. germany has been pretty poor since the last world cup really and you can't take it away from him he, he won us a world cup but uh, as they say in england good riddance good that he goes now and uh, they can start a new chapter and you know what again as i said yesterday i'm you know also happy for england and i hope my second team now goes all the way and brings it home eh? Ah, fantastic. And Billy, you were tweeting in the early hours of this morning. How's the head? Have you had any sleep? Uh, I've had, I, I don't normally sleep actually after games like that, but I managed to get a couple of hours sleep actually. We were in a bar very close to the, to the stadium through the early hours, hours of the morning. They just kept shipping the beers in, like, you know, so me and the posse puns and, and, uh, and soups and all that lot, you know, we were all there till, till very early in the morning. It was, a, it was a good celebration, shall we say, and we know how to celebrate. It's got to be said, but yes, what are we? Tell yourself, what? Looking what at celebrations we? as we're chatting, oh, yeah. Billy. Um, who were the star players for you? Listen, I love Sterling. I think he's, you know, I just think he's brilliant, you know. And I think also Jack Grealish when he came on, he actually kind of took it up another level. You know, I know a lot of people are sort of saying, you know, Jack Grealish, don't drop him. You know, make sure that, you know, he's playing all the time. Listen, I think we've got to trust the coaches, trust Southgate. I heard Gertz, what he was saying about terrible game in the first 75 minutes. But I slightly disagree with that because as i said you know we have lost to germany so many times we lose all these matches we, we get to the world cup semi-final we lose to croatia because we don't switch it up in the second half and i think southgate's learned from that and i think that we actually went into this game to play a particular side we didn't want to let germany score we just did what we had to do and then we just took it up a level in the final was it 15 minutes or so and we just when we took it up a level germany just didn't know what to do we went bang bang Goal in the back of the net. See you later. So, uh, and, and we're in we're in the next round, and that's what you've got to do. You've got to remember we haven't let in one goal. Okay, and if you don't let in the goal, you're not going to lose a game. You, you might lose your penalties, but you're not going to lose a game. And I'm I'm very happy with that. After like I said, 40 plus years of seeing England not doing anything. Listen, let's just let's just let's just edge our way to the semi-finals. And I'm saying that touching wood all over the place. Yeah, no need to show off. Just don't get any let any goals in. Um, uh, Gertz is what Billy is saying, and you know, all due respect to the England goalkeeper. He was magnificent yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, England, again, as I said, if you, if you score the goals at the end, then you're, you know, fair deserved winner. And um, that's what England did. And I really do hope that they can kind of take this historic victory and write another bit of history and finally win a title. I mean, as I said, I've lived here 26 years and I really, really hope they can go all the way now. And it looks good, at least now, you know, Ukraine is a beatable team. And then, you know, you're close already, Steph, so all the best to England. Okay, Billy, uh, you were at Wembley, I think, yesterday, weren't you? Um, yes. Oh, I think we've got pictures of you, actually, at Wembley uh, yesterday. Uh, rather, and yes. that was, I'm guessing, before the game, was it? Because you looked pretty calm, pretty relaxed, and that was obvious 
to when we saw one or two goals going in. Lots of celebrations around you. What was it like being at Wembley? It was great. I'll tell you something, and I've said to you, I've been to all the matches so far, and the, the, the three previous matches, you go there, you get your ticket, you stand up there, there's a bit of clapping, a bit of cheering, you know, but it's almost like a little bit of a sort of kind of friendly plus, I probably think is the best way to describe it, you know, which is a little bit annoying because FIFA have charged us all sorts of ridiculous money to try and, you know, to go to the previous matches, and it's, uh, it's, been, a bit, it's been a bit frustrating for England fans as well, because, you know, we've been shelling out a lot of money, and, and it's not quite been the same, but this game... We turned around to all my mates, you know, Dave was there, you know, we had the, you know, um, um, Leeds come down from Sheffield as well, <laughs> Regina and Mark as well, and Susan. We turned around and said, this is the first time it actually feels like an away day. Like when you go away, you feel the tournament vibe. Everyone in that stadium was really, really up for it. I was really, really pleased. I was able to bring my son, Elias, and his daughter, Bella, as well, who goes to all football matches with me all over with Brentford, everywhere, like, you know. And she came down, it's her first European Championships. And the previous one, she's like, oh, it's not that good, is it? You know, it's all right. But this one, she actually felt the vibe behind the goal, the singing, the dancing, people falling on top of you when we scored, the full Monty. It was absolutely fantastic. And obviously there was the songs that we were singing, you know, obviously Three Lions was a massive song for that one. But Sweet Caroline, I don't know if you got that on the TV beforehand, before the match and afterwards, when everyone, the teams are off and everything like that, Sweet Caroline, everyone in the stadium singing that over and over again for like, you know, stay in the stadium for about 45 minutes afterwards, which is what you do when you go to tournaments. After the game, you stay in the stadium for about an hour, hour and a half singing and dancing and just chatting to your mates. And that vibe was wicked. And it's a real shame because I've got tickets to Rome for Saturday. I was going to go with the daughter Bella for that one as well. We had that all sorted out. But unfortunately, due to restrictions, I've had to park that one. I'm going to have to go to back to mid Scandinavian bar in town and watch the game there with the mates instead because unfortunately can't make it to no, can't make it to Rome. It's no, but you'll be able to watch the last two games at Wembley, won't you? When uh, England play in the semis and the final. Uh, good. <laughs> should play here as planned and um, as I said again I'm now all the way for England so play it when we bring it home that's yep. all I can say <laughs> fantastic it's good to talk to both of you guys I hope you enjoyed the game whichever side you were on uh, come the final whistle and thanks for taking the time to join us this morning thank you a fair place to you as well mate nice one mate See you yeah, bye. 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 bye 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 bye